All right, welcome back. Hmm. I was just having some victory grapes in celebration of our glorious hero, G5. But um, yes, we are now going on to DeWall versus South Park. So this is going to be very interesting. Let me tell you something about these two guys. Both of these guys made it to the round of eight last season at TLS. They both got eliminated there. DeWalt, unfortunately, had to face Seeky and got knocked out, uh, whereas South Park got taken down by Skyline. But these two players were the only players to win a game against Seeky in the TLS last season. The only two players. Nobody else took a game off Seeky. I don't think. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Maybe Eonsorg won it. Did Eonsorg win a game or did he not? Eonsorg might have won one game, actually. But basically, South Park put a, pulled a crazy upset by beating Seeky in the round of 16. And then DeWalt won a single game in their round of 8 series. Um. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, South Park, though, I mean, he's kind of a ZBZ specialist. Like, he got absolutely steamrolled by Skyline in the uh, in the round of eight. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, it's probably a bit of a tricky group for him with no Zergs. Uh, I, I, he's still probably favored against G5. But, um, yeah, against DeWalt and Andre, it may be hard. Although, I do know that DeWalt has been uh, a little bit inactive lately. Uh, I think he had exams or something a, a couple of weeks ago, so uh, he was busy preparing for those and didn't really play much. And it really showed, because he actually streamed a few days ago, and he was so rusty that he played a PvZ and killed his own third Nexus by accident. Like, the Zerg was harassing it with Hydras, and somehow he misclicked and attacked his own Nexus with like reinforcing units, and somehow didn't realize for a really long time. And I was watching his screen, like he saw goons shooting his Nexus, and he didn't tell them to stop. It just boggled my mind. I was like, am I going crazy here? Is he actually just going to let his Nexus die? And he finally stopped them when there were like two shots left and like two Hydras just ran up and killed it. It's like, whoa. Anyway. I think he still won though. It's kind of funny, but uh, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, hmm, that was a little dubious. I guess we'll see how he does it against South Park. A lot of people are predicting a 9 pool. Uh, I guess we'll see. It is Jade, so it's pretty easy to wall in, in some positions. Anyway, let us go into the game. Alright, alright. Bottom right is the Orange Birdos. We have DeWalt at the bottom left. As the White Zerg, we have South Park. There's the lovely Red Observer, Sir Tupocalypse, the uh, Commander-in-Chief of TLS Organization. He's a pretty cool dude. You guys should, you guys should all say thanks, because he uh, does a lot of work behind the scenes uh, making this all happen. It's actually mind-bogglingly hard to get, you know, a bunch of amateur players to, like, you know, coordinate a time where they can all play a group and that kind of thing. You guys couldn't imagine how difficult it is to just get four guys to be like, okay guys, Friday night, just everybody play some StarCraft. Oh no, I can't, it's my mom's birthday. Oh no, it's like, I can't, you know, I'm, I'm leaving the country. You know, the NSA is hunting me or some shit. It's like crazy, man, it's crazy. Hmm, anyway. So, we have an Overlord. Which is, which is surprising. I don't think many people would have predicted an Overlord, but, you know. I don't think anyone would have predicted G5 and Wands winning either. So South Park going to continue the trend of upsets here by making an Overlord before a spawning pool. So that's pretty cool. And he's in fact going to make two more drones as well. I don't believe what I'm saying. I'm not actually sure if I'm more shocked by Wands 2 and his group, or by South Park making 12 drones before a spawning pool. This is actually, this is crazy. Oh my god, he's going to make a hatchery. If he makes a hatchery, my head's going to explode. No! No! Well, I guess this is scan then. Nice try, South Park. Nice try. Clearly not South Park. So, um, I'm just going to call him Mystery Zerg now, because I don't actually know who he is anymore. 
And now Dewalt's gonna go check him out. So Dewalt's at the good old double probe scout, it's pretty standard if you want to, you know, not die to nine pool, which is what South Park should have done. And so Dewalt's like, oh, well I guess I'll just forge Nexus then. And that's absolutely fine. So it looks like uh, South Park, you know, he sees what's going on with the Overlord, he hits out correctly. He's got a drone, it's being harassed by his probe. He wants, excuse me, he wants to go make a third base. Uh, and actually the drone's not gonna, not gonna bother him, he's gonna let him go. Ooh, cause there's another probe, oh he might cannon rush it. Dewalt might actually hide that probe and cannon rush a third. That is a very sneaky probe, I think that's what's gonna happen here. Or build gateways somewhere. Or he might just block it, but I think he should cannon rush it. No, hide it man, you can cannon rush it! Hide it! Hide! Hide! Oh, he's not gonna hide. <sighs> Always cannon rush, never not cannon rush. That is the way of the Protoss. That that is our path. That is our that is our our, our purpose in life is to cannon rush hatcheries. I, mean, I, I don't know what kind of what Protoss school Dewalt went to, but it clearly was the wrong one. Must have been a public school. Oh man, that's that's not even ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, yeah. Um. <laughs> So, scouting probe, gonna get taken down. And... Uh, uh, uh! Did he only make two links? Oh no, he made four links. Oh, he's gonna cannon rush it! Hey! I guess it was a good school after all. Oh, he's gonna do the sick cannon rush behind the minerals too. Oh god, this is gonna be brutal. Links won't be able to get here. Oh man, it's gonna be so good. You can build a cannon there, build a pile in there, it's completely blocked off. I'm pretty sure you can fit a cannon there. Oh man, this is, this is gonna be crazy. Build it, build it. Oh no! Oh, South Park's gonna be so sad. He is gonna be so sad. Oh, oh, pylon, pylon, pylon! Oh, it's not tight! It's not tight! It's not tight! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that did not go to plan. That was not a part of the plan. <laughs> this is the second time, man. First Mazor doing it yesterday, and now now Dewalt. Ah, oh, guys, guys, guys. We need. We need to have a talk. Alright. Can somebody please call Combat X? We need to have a masterclass here on Cannon Rushing. Can we get like Combat X Picklick tag team? Somebody get those guys. I have Picklick on Skype. I think I have Combat X actually. I'm gonna go call up Combat X and Picklick. We're gonna go uh, gonna go do some cannon rushing school here on on these guys. Oh man, this is gonna be bad. Is this blocking? If that doesn't block, he's dead. I don't think that blocks. Nope. 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 Oh, that no, 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 shit! Come on, probes, you can do it. Oh, well, that's all right then. And everything went better than expected. See, the wall's making that face right now. He's making me everything went better than expected face. Because that's the face I'm making. Because I can't believe that actually went so well. Nice. So that went equally badly for South Park. Although he's actually gonna be able to kill this uh, gateway, it looks like. Oh, it's gonna be close. I think he's gonna get it though. He's definitely gonna get it. Bunk! Oh, nice block though with the probes. Dang! And look at this, South Park's actually just keep continuing to make links. He's actually just only make links. Oh my god, he's gonna keep losing Overlord and making links. But this is not gonna work, because this is now securely blocked. Oh, the double gateway block even! Uber block! Nice to Walt! Showing him what's up! And look at this, South Park is now supply blocked. Being double overlords. He's making what he can, but he's just I think he's just throwing away his advantage. I mean but you know what? I mean South Park he's, he's, it's South Park being South Park. I mean what are you gonna do, right? South Park, gonna be South Park. So, we got some plus one stairs on the way for DeWalt. 
So all surprisingly, not at all concerned by, you know, not even having a gateway or getting wing busted. Oh, he's actually gonna let that second gateway finish. I thought he would cancel this one, but he's just gonna leave it. Now he's like super duper safe against these lings. And he's gonna come over here and be like, oh, you actually just, you know, sacrificed all your tech and stuff. And that's gonna be bad for you. He's actually getting a uh, plus one air uh, carapace, so it looks like the uh, South is gonna be going Muta Link here against the Corsairs of Dewalt, which is gonna be very interesting. That's gonna be it's gonna be kind of like Wands's game against uh, Napoleon, in fact, where the Zerg actually, despite facing plus one Corsairs or mass Corsairs, is still gonna try and wrest air control from the Pearls. And look at this Dewalt actually not even attacking those Overlords. I guess he knew from the timing that the Spire, uh, the Scourge were coming already. I guess he saw the Spire finished actually, so he knew he wouldn't have time to actually kill an Overlord. But yeah, Smalthark lost, or made a lot of Zorglings there without really doing anything. He did kill a few probes though, I mean, you know, he did force some guys off the line. I mean, you can see the saturation here is not amazing for DeWalt, but DeWalt should still be in a pretty nice position right now. Um, so yeah, I mean, let's just have a look at the sea. If you look at the drone cap for Smalthark, it's really not very good at all. Um, I wonder if he's gonna go for... Well, it looks like he's going to drone up, so he's actually just going to play from behind here. Also, his four, uh, third base is in a bit of an awkward position. Normally, you want to add a natural, right, so you can do a bit of a sim city here and block. But since it's in the main, it's really open to, um, like, speed lot attacks and, and things like that. Oh my god, he's getting armor first, what? Oh no, he's got plus one already, okay, my bad, I'm sorry, I, I didn't notice his plus one. I was like, whoa, you never get armor first, ever, in PvZ. Um, anyway... So we got a bit of SimCity here at the natural. And we got some lurkers. We got lurkers coming. Looks like South Park gonna try and use the fact that he has the uh, the early, you know, semi-contain outside the natural to just set up a lurker contain as well. I think that's actually pretty smart. Because otherwise these things are really not doing anything. So by by going for this strategy of a fast lurker contain, he's at least sort of building on what he's already started here with these Zerglings. Unfortunately for him, uh Walt's gonna move out before he can do that. Oh, maybe not though, maybe not. The Lings moving in. These are plus one Zealots, remember, so they are gonna two shot these Lings, be really effective against them. Uh, but with such a small number, he still has to be careful. And it looks like uh, Dewalt is gonna make these Templar to an Archon. He wasn't getting Storm, was he? Okay, it looks like he wasn't even getting Storm. Was that just like a fake out? Did he move out to show that he wasn't getting an Archon? And then just made him into an Archon? I'm not really sure, because it doesn't look like he was getting Storm. Unfortunately for him, He's going to be facing a uh, Hydra Lurker anyway, so having a Storm would have been a lot more useful than the Zilla Archon. This is going to be a little bit more mobile of a force, but I don't know. When he, when like, you know, 80 Hydras run up his front, he's going to regret not having more High Templar. Anyway, uh, looks like Dewalt now going to go take his third pretty quickly, in fact. And he's got 77 supply and 68 for South Park, so very, very close as well. And uh, I don't think that's going to mean he's going to have a robo anytime soon here. Yeah, he's just getting a couple extra gateways. Not going to have a robo for, for a little while. And so if lurkers come up here, it uh, could be a little bit of trouble. But he's going to poke out with these speed loss. At the very least, he can uh, move out and kind of block lurkers from coming up to his front very easily. Anyway, he does have the uh, Pulsal Corsairs move now. going to kick off some uh, random overlords here. And since South Park was devoting more of his uh, units to Lurkers, he's actually not going to have very much anti-air at all. Very few Hydras without upgrades and also no Spore Colonies means that uh, these courses are actually going to be really effective. I don't think DeWalt actually even realizes how effective these can be, but look at this, there's, there's no anti-air whatsoever. A few Scourge coming out, but with that many Corsairs with plus one, a few uh, Scourge are really going to do nothing. And oh my god, the Zelda's actually moving in here, we know the Lurks are there. DeWalt now knows that there's Lurkers on the field, there's two Lurkers moving up here to his natural expansion, they might actually just block, one might, you know, come far over here, one might go block the third or something. No, they're both just gonna chill here by the gateways. Just two lurkers, though, it's gonna take a while to really do anything. Ah, there was a third lurker to, to deny the third. That's gonna be really annoying for Dewalt, especially because the South Park now has the four bases. This is really not what uh, Dewalt wants to see, but this shuttle coming It's an empty shuttle, though! What's up with that? Oh, he's gonna elevate her into the main! Oh my god, this is gonna be beautiful. This is like a draw move right here, and also, uh... South Park foolishly suiciding that lurker there, but oh my god, South Park doesn't see it coming. He should have seen this, the the shuttle though, I thought he saw the shuttle. Why did he not see the shuttle? Why is he not moving out to stop this? He, he saw the shuttle. Oh man, draw, he's stealing your moves! He's stealing your moves! Meanwhile, Link's gonna go block this base, there's only one cannon there, so that should be good. But this is 
This is this is gonna be painful. There's a bunch of Hydro Lurk in the in the main, but with a bunch of speed loss running around. What? Where's he going? Where, where you going, dude? Come come back! Come back! Oh man, why'd he go over there? Anyway, third base getting denied. Dwalt busting down the main. He's a busting down the main. And he's doing a good job. He's doing a good job. He's taking taking down the spawning pool. He's taking down the sunk and the hive is coming back. The shuttle's actually going to the top left main as well. Now DeWalt looks like he's broken out of the contain. He's gonna DT doing a dance. And the Corsairs are now gonna head up to the top left while these elves continue to, uh, to do damage over here. This DT's stuck by the way, because this thing walls it in. I think he's just gonna kill this. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, enough of that. Anyway, here's a drop at the top left main. Here we go, more drones gonna fall. Soundport is actually not responding to this at all. He doesn't know what's going on. Uh, looks like so the main isn't mining. He just lost all the drones at his top left here as well. South Park, despite denying Dewalt's third base, looks like he's in a little bit of trouble in here. 73 supply, it's 99. South Park only mining from two of his bases now. Looks like he's finally put drones back at his main base, but this drop has been ridiculously effective, or not really a drop, but a ferry. And... Oh, is he gonna get the Evo? I don't think he is. Actually, this Zealot by itself might. He's got 2-1. Oh my god! Oh! 37 HP left. I think that was two shots only from the plus two attack upgraded Zealot. Dang. Meanwhile, a bit of mutiny here. Just gonna kill everything in the base. And oh, we got a storm drop coming this time. We got a storm drop. Little over, uh, observer guy checking out what's going on. South Park actually didn't even re remake his pool yet. Man, that would be pretty crucial if he actually killed that. Here we go. Where's he gonna do it? Natural or main? Natural or main? It's more than natural, it looks like. He's gonna do it in the main, though. Storm! He can even get four or five. Oh my god, why did South Park clump them? What? Did you see that South Park, de like, deliberately clump? <laughs> what the hell was that? He totally just clumped the drones so he could get storms better. He's like, here, have these drones. Oh, 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 they're so spread out. Here, let me make this drop more effective for you and also not pull the other three drones either. So that drop actually just killed all eight drones in the main for no reason whatsoever. Oh, hey look, it's a lurker party. Oh, if he blocked the ramp there, that would've been pretty sick. In the meantime, Michelle is gonna chill now. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. That's just, that's just silly. Anyway, South Park, gonna suicide a few lurkers here. South Park seems to be falling apart a little bit here. Um, you know, he's not really known for his late game play. He's known to be a little bit cheesy, if you haven't figured that out already. So, uh, see, it seems to be struggling for sure. Anyway, he's down to 74 supply against the 126 of DeWalt. It is looking good for our young Protoss hero. He's finally got his third base up. Gonna do a nicely timed transfer as well. Perfectly timed, in fact. Look, these are gonna hit right as it finishes. Oh man, it's gonna be beautiful. Ready? You guys ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this. Oh. Oh. Man, look at that. Oh, I love it. I love it. So good. I love things like that. Would have been slightly better if you split them slightly, but, you know, that's good. I like it. Something's dying, by the way. What's dying? Oh, no! Did he wall his goons in? Oh, my God. He just made a complete wall. I was I heard the sounds, I was like, why are there goon shots when there's nothing attacking? Oh my god. Oh, oh we got a storm drop again. Storm! Another one, another one? Nope. Meanwhile though, uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh, the Nexus falls! The beautifully timed Nexus falls! Meanwhile, the goons still can't get out of the base. <laughs> no way! Are they still walled in? Do they need to kill the pylon too? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're they're not still stuck, are they? Oh no, they're still stuck! <laughs> oh god, he killed a gateway and it wasn't enough, they had to kill the pylon. <laughs> I can't believe it. And now the gateways are unpowered. Oh my god, he unpowered three of his gateways. <laughs> oh no. I can't. 
Oh, that's just too good. <laughs> okay, so Dwald's moving out now. Um, he's lost his third base, so he kind of needs to make something happen with his attack. I mean, he's got a pretty nice supply lead, 151 to 98. Um, it was like the- oh my god, oh shit! Oh, there's ultras! The, the, the Scourge! Most of them hit. There's a lot of goons though, and those storms here, the goons are actually going to eat the ultras alive. Uh, Mass Goon against a few ultras is actually really nice for Burrows. Oh, we're going to storm again! And... boom! Let's go for the main now. Actually, there's like no drones anywhere. So even though South Park killed a third, he's not really having a good economy himself. Oh my god, I think his attack's just going to win. Man, it's a wall. He's going for it. Where's the obs, though? Where's the obs? He's gonna kill the spore first and then get the obs in. Here we go. Master Goonies. Let's do it. He's doing it. Top got an 84 supply. 155 still for Dwal. He's still going strong. Third Nexus is about to complete as well, but I think this is just gonna kill South Park right here. I don't see South Park holding his attack. He's bringing a Hydra Ling up from the rear and a one Ultra, but it doesn't matter. He's losing all the drones here at this place. Gonna lose the hatchery. And that is going to be that. A few random zealots just going to slow down the reinforcements from the Zerg while the Protoss moves into the main base here. Emergency Susan Colonies on the way for South Park, but it doesn't even matter. I think South Park should just counterattack here. He cannot, he can't save this anyway. He just counterattack and try to do as much damage as possible. Look at this. Again? Oh no, he's not enemy. Or maybe he did and I just missed it. South Park losing this. He is going to try and hold it. He does have four ultras with 4-1. But again, with, with that many goons, and look at that well upgraded, 3-2 goons already, these are just going to own these ultras. Um, now they don't even have speed. Yeah, there's no chance for these ultras to swarm. Oh, and the good storms as well. Taking them down. Doesn't even really into micro. Only 4 ultras. Boom! Easy peasy. Apparently Southwark doesn't see this, uh, this High Templar either. And looks like South Park is going to counterattack with a few Zerglings. There's three cannons there. With the DT, should be okay. The DT does need to help though. Oh, they are cracking, actually. These are the cannons are going to fall. DT was not paying attention. Um, but I think. Well, he might get the Nexus. He could get the Nexus. Look at those cracklings go. Nibbling away. The DT needs to target the cracklings, but it doesn't matter. Damn! That's crazy, man. Let me remind you that these are the cheapest unit in the game. These are 25 minerals a piece. And they just ate a Nexus in 3 seconds. Like a little piranha nibbling away. So Dewalt once again has no third, and now he also has no money. So this is slightly problematic. Oh, I want to see the unsplit. Whee! Alright, not that many probes. Um, so Southwark's lost his top left two bases. He's also lost his pool again. So he can't even make crackings anymore because that nice uh, Zealot run by. And Dwald has a 146 supply army against a 48, so he's got an almost 100 supply lead right now. So I don't think he actually cares about his third, he's just gonna go kill him. Kill him! Kill him! Let's do it! Come on, PvP winner's match, that's what I'm talking about. Guaranteed cross advancement, that's what I like to see. Alright, here we go. Final battle. The final engagement! Decent storms. It's gonna be no link reinforcements, remember. One random lurker being a hero barring in the middle of everything. That's actually pretty ballsy. But the ultras are going to fall. 24 supply left. That ultra's like a third of the supply right now. I think it's actually literally a third. Oh, not quite. GG! DeWalt goes on to the winner's match. And we're going to have at least one Protoss advancing from the group. That's what's up. G5 versus DeWalt. In the winner's match on match point, Andre versus South Park in the loser's match. Yes, 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 yes! Okay, so, looks like DeWalt is not too rusty after all. Still having some problems with his own buildings. <laughs> I think I think DeWalt may have killed more of his own buildings in that game than, uh, than South Park did. I mean, South Park like, killed the Nexus three times, or two times. And, like, he killed a couple of cannons, but that was it, right? And then Dewalt, you know, he killed the pylon and the can- Or he killed the cannon and a gateway to get out of his wall. And then he, like, killed a gateway and a pylon to get out of his main. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna go to a quick ad break and then come back for the winner's match.